All right, Shalom. We we'll start off by giving all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, the bonus to the apostles. You know, there's a great millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopefully elect. I'm going to play a minute or two of this clip from uh, Big War the Genius. And as you can see, every, almost every American citizen is complaining about the same thing. All right. Everyone is going through almost the same struggle. <laughs> And this is what happens. This is what happens when you have a wicked ruler like Esau Edom ruling, okay? And at the end of the day, it's the collapse of this society as well. As we see inflation, which is going to lead to hyperinflation. As we're dealing with shrinkflation. As we're not dealing or getting paid the same wages enough to even keep up with living in society with necessities. Give me one second, one second. Right, you can't even survive off of just the regular necessities because these jobs don't wanna pay you. Not even just what you're worth, not even pay, they won't even pay you enough for the regular living wages to make it through. But I'm gonna play a quick clip and then I'm gonna um, jump right into some videos I probably got saved on my um, on my IG just, for, just to make videos. You know, I find videos, you know, good enough videos for edification and then I, you know, upload them on here and just bring out the scriptures with it. Um, but also, this is uh, not for uh, this 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 video I'm making. It's not for uh, game purposes, and this is only this content is only being used to uh, educate. All right, as you know, uh, YouTube got the whole copyright thing going on. So yeah, this is only for education purposes only. Good afternoon, good afternoon, good afternoon. Today is still Wednesday, October 16th, 2024. I am back with another episode. Thank y'all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And this is an email topic from BigWard at MyYahoo.com. BigWard at MyYahoo.com. If you have something you would like for me to discuss, a business venture, a money-making opportunity, hit me up, bigwatermyyahoo.com. Thank you. <laughs> so this one it says, I'm a 35-year-old man. I have two kids from my ex-girlfriend five and seven years old at the moment I'm a forklift driver and I make $14 an hour Ooh. I saw your video a while back saying most people don't have a thousand dollars in the bank where well, after I pay my rent child support and other bills and expenses I am broke check the check I don't have a hundred dollars saved up right now. I feel like giving up. Can you help me? Damn. Let me go over that again. 35 year old man, two kids by his ex-girlfriend. So obviously he got two kids by the same woman. They're five and seven years old, so they're small. So now you got daycare and all that. At the moment, I'm a forklift driver and I make $14 an hour, which at one, t one time that was good money for a forklift driver. 14, that, that's what they make. As a matter of fact, that was high end forklift driver making $14, $15 an hour as a forklift driver. Obviously the people he worked for still think that's good money. Oh, they don't care. Most likely they don't care. They know the cost of living. $14 an hour as a forklift driver. I saw your video a while back saying most people don't have $1,000 in the bank. Well, after I pay my rent, child support, and other bills, I am broke. I don't have $100 saved up right now. I feel like giving up. Can you help me? 
And that's all I'm going to play on that. Right? But look, look at these comments. Look at these comments. The same thing. You are seeing the same comments of I can barely pay my bills. Look at that. I have to work 82 hours. And I'm, I'm, I'm guaranteeing this is a week. And I know what this is like. You be busted and disgusted. You be tired as I don't know what. And you still be trying to make it. You see? So everyone in Babylon the Great is complaining about the same thing. And it's just, it's a matter of time. It's a matter of time for these things erupt. All right? Because people didn't have it. People are losing their mind and they're pissed about these, uh, these so-called, uh, these or not so-called, but these immigrants coming over here and what? They're getting all these aids and services, but the American people ain't. All right? So the American people now feel what? They now start to feel what? Betrayed. By whom? <laughs> the US GOV. All right? They're feeling betrayed by the US GOV. And look what that is. See, that app I just had, that's a, a paying for, right? I did lessons on this a while back too. That's a paying for that I try to use to my advantage to get things if I don't have enough money, just um, so I can pay it back. All right? But a lot of people are using the paying for. This is why every company. Every uh, almost business establishment is using pay in for. Why? Because they know, they're seeing people don't have the money. Okay? Let's see if I can find a few clips on here that can uh, go with this video. Let's see what this one is about right here. Sure did. The cost of everything's up, so hey, good luck I'm, to you. That's fine, because I have a degree so I can get a high paying job. But to get a high paying job, you need experience, not a degree. Then why did I go to college? Because you're an idiot. They would hire me over you. But I went to college so I could get the experience. No, you need experience, then college, then more experience to get the first job. That doesn't make any sense. Neither does rent. You're looking at about $3,000 a month. $3,000? For a studio. Did you forget where you live? You live in the Bay Area. Star World. Yeah! Star World. Now that you live in the real world, there's no more free money. Can I go back to school? It's too late for you. You graduated already. <laughs> So, so then what? So, so what do I do now? We have to pay your bills, so go work at McDonald's for the time. I being. went to school for four years to work at McDonald's? Well, how else are you going to pay your bills? You don't have any real-world experience, just a degree. I have my degree in accounting. Good luck counting those burgers and fries. Good luck counting that change back. The only thing you're going to count is how many days till you pass. Oh, this is a scam. I'm going back to live with my parents, and I'm going to go figure it out now because this is, this is actually insane. You wasted four years of your life. So what did I go in debt for? To make somebody else rich, but good luck with your degree. <laughs> hey, did you just graduate? I sure did. The scam of the so-called American dream. <laughs> Unbelievable, right? I just broke down saying someone stole all my money. Thieves are getting away with millions of dollars. Food stamps wiped off of your EBT card in seconds. I knew I had money on my card. From this DHS worker allegedly caught changing pin numbers to buy groceries for herself to skimmers waiting for you to swipe at the counter. A big inconvenience. The shade room is getting down to the bottom of it and what the feds need you to do before you use your EBT card again. I'm Justin Carter. This is TSR Investigates. Groceries are high and money is funny for the tens of thousands of people who rely on SNAP benefits to feed their families. That's why the Secret Service and the FBI, they've been taking food stamp fraud seriously lately. Last year alone, $60 million worth of food stamp fraud was reported in the United States. So we at The Shade Room, we decided to piece together how these scamianas are doing it. This is what people are resorting to, scamming. And scamming is at an all-time high right now. Fraud, fraud is at an all-time high. And like they said, even people that's operating in those service buildings are the ones that's doing it as well. That's how you know people are through, through, 
through, through. See if I got another one. And I played this one in my last clip, so I'm not going to play that one again. Um, not that one. Oh, yeah, I played this one, the last one, too. I'm not going to play those again. It's, it's... That's the point. You get, you get the gist of where I'm going with that. So let's get into the scriptures, right? Let's go here. Okay. Let's go to the book of Haggai. Because you can't say that we're all, for the most part, most people are going through this as we speak. Now, I might I add you, do you know, I believe it's uh, either 62 or 67 percent, right? Even either, either way, that number is very high of Americans do not have five hundred dollars or let's just see, say even a thousand. OK, but they said five hundred. But let's even just go higher. I say a thousand. Right? Let's double it. Don't even have a thousand dollars in their bank account for savings or emergency purposes. Think about that. Just think about that. Not even a thousand to five hundred dollars in their bank account for emergency services. That means people are what? They are a paycheck or two away from losing everything. And don't even talk about the grace period. Oh my goodness. They're not really giving that many much grace uh, grace periods out if you or if you if you miss your bills or if you're late on payments. Some states are you know better than others with that, right? But for the most part, they're not giving uh, a lot of grace periods out. They might give you a certain payment arrangement or a so-called budget plan, if you will. But as far as grace, like they used to do back in the day, I remember back in the day when I was in my teenagers, if I missed my phone bill, I was able to get like a you know, a 15 day grace period. Even when I was, I started taking over my, um, my grandma's property at the age of 17. Even then I had grace periods of 10 to, to 10 to 15 days. Oh, not no more. Not no more. They might give you three or four. If, if that, cause some places might even give you 24 hours for certain bills. You know what I'm saying? But now when it's starting to get cold, they might give you a little bit more grace cause I think the law passed where they can't shut your uh, your um, uh, certain uh, utilities off when it gets cold. I believe like the water, the gas, I believe the lights, you know. But other than that, through the rest of those uh, other seasons, if you don't pay it, you're done, right? <laughs> but let's get this. The book of Haggai to the one verse six. It says, you have so much in bringing little. So what does it mean, so? This goes into work, right? If you're working you know, let's just say 50 hours a week, right? That means that's 10 extra hours of overtime. So that's 100 hours, okay? Or that's 20 hours overtime within those two pay periods, right? And I ain't going to get on this whole uh, bi-weekly pay BS or getting paid every week BS because you're supposed to get paid by the day, but, you know, they for taxes and other purposes because the more you work, the more they can tax, the more like the money to add up together, the more they can tax you. So that's a, that's another scam within itself. All right. Um, but. Uh, yeah, so you have so much and you bring a little. So you're doing all this work, but you, you're not bringing in nothing. Right. You eat, but you have not enough. You eat just enough to fill you up. You drink, but you are not filled with drink. You clothe you, but there is none warm. Oh, the, the materials of the clothing nowadays is horrible. Okay? Just horrible. A lot of things are made with cheap fabric. Okay? Because now companies are realizing that a lot of people ain't paying as much and the cost of things is high. So they're cutting down on their materials. So they rather use, they're going to just, they're just going to use mixed Fabrics, which that's wicked in itself, according to the scriptures as well. But they're just going to use the, the, the least amount of fabric that they can just enough for you. So that means let's just say you might get uh, a, a few shirts, right? T-shirts, underclothes, whatever. You might put them in a washing machine maybe four, three, four times. And now you got holes in it, you know, or it, it shrunk to the point where you you. You put it in the dryer or you got to put, make sure you put it on a certain setting or it's, or it's going to shrink. But that's because it's the cheap material that they are now using. Why? To save money. 
there is, it's, it's a thing of called cutting cost. Now, now when we mention these these robots and the AI system, what you think they're gonna use do with that? Hmm? That's to help cut cost. All right. Then they don't need all hands on deck when you got a robot, right? When you got an AI system, you ain't, you ain't gonna need all those people. You're literally cutting costs, but guess what? Who's gonna who's gonna be on the short end of the stick? <laughs> the people, right? But you people still can't see it, right? He don't even give you the time for, for, for the most part to even see what's actually coming. I mean, it's there, it's in plain point, it's in plain sight, but people are so caught up in the whole bread and circus act and all the other things that's going on that they barely paying attention. They stressed out, depressed, dealing with anxiety. And all these other different things that <laughs> Babylon the Great, you know, uh, how it makes you feel. But besides that, the point of this lesson is you so much and you bring in little. All right. So it says, the end of the office says, but there is none warm and he that earneth wages, earneth wages to put it, put it into a bag with holes. That's what it feel like. As soon as your money come in, it's going out the door. Right before you even get paid, you're already calculating what is being taken out, what bill you're about to pay for. Let me pay for this. Let me pay for that. Let me put a little bit of money on this, and a little bit of money on that. Let me use one hundred fifty dollars for the groceries right here at this point in time, and, and, and do what I can do. And then let me try to put, you know, seventy five on this light bill, a hundred on this gas bill. You know, this and that. Right, but before people ain't had to. Had that mindset and think like that for the most part. But now I'm talking about on a general standpoint, everyone, everyone has the same mindset of they don't have enough. And all you hearing is well, how all they do is suck to sow all day long. Okay, meaning work, labor. That's it. Labor, labor, labor. All right. So let's go back to this big ward, see what he's talking about. I'll try. First thing first, you're not gonna give up cause you don't have any money. That's not giving up. Look at that, I had to raid, I had to raid change bucket today. <laughs> I've been there before. Let's see what else. People act like 14 is unheard of. Most people trying to cut costs. Temp services cuts you out to two, depending on the state. It's people been in the warehouse for 10 years, not making over 20. That, that's crazy. You've been at a company for 10 years and not making 20 bucks an hour? This is ridiculous. <laughs> Them double cheeseburger is now three ninety nine. I remember when it was ninety nine cents, then one twenty nine, and so forth and so on. The cost of everything has risen, and now what? People can't keep up. So it's a matter. It's just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time for people lose it. Okay, cause what you think is gonna happen when people can't feed their family? Hmm? What do you think is gonna happen when a pe person can't feed themselves? Who's next? Hmm? Their neighbors. Hey, <laughs> scripture. Scripture. Second Ezra chapter fifteen. And we are in these times. We are in these. We are in the end times. We are in the hard times. And everything is coming upon us. Jacob's trouble. The R A C E wars. Famine. Not just famine of the world, but we talking about famine of food and bread too. The book of 2nd Ezra chapter 15 verse, and I just want to get to the point. Verse 18, it says, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods. Because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Let's go into that word tribulation. Because this was this was what's coming upon America Babylon the Great. When you go to tribulation, it says what? A state of affliction or oppression, suffering, distress. This is all you hear. When you go all throughout this alternative media, on social media sites, 
Everyone is complaining about the same thing of how the economy is destroying them. All right. So I just wanted to bring that out real quick to the spirit. Lord, will edify until next time. I want to say, shalom.